So there, there's this enormous mystery uh, waiting to be unlocked. And the Brain Initiative will change that by giving scientists the tools they need to get a dynamic picture of the brain in action and better understand how we think and how we learn and how we remember. And that knowledge could be, will be, transformative. There are other private companies working to develop brain-inspired technologies. IBM had recently made progress in successfully simulating nearly 5% of the human brain through what's called the Blue Gene Computer. Another breakthrough by IBM was a pair of cognitive chips built on the nanoscale to simulate brain memory functions. Trying to bring together neuroscience, supercomputing, and nanotechnology to create a radically different computer architecture that mimics the function, low power, small size, and real time of the human brain. Modern computers, because of their sequential, symbolic nature, can be likened to the left brain, whereas the human brain is capable of parallel, short, complex thinking and it can be likened to the right brain while on one hand our competitors are chasing the tail end of the left brain computers IBM is opening up entirely new way of computing thinking and serving our customers thereby giving rise to a continuum of architectures between the left brain von Neumann machines and the right brain cognitive computers we have created breakthrough chips at the scale of a worm brain and now we are on the path to create a new true north chip at the scale of B brain. Horizon 2020 is the biggest EU research and innovative program ever with over 100 billion dollars in funding available over seven years from 2014 to 2020. The program aims to fund the development of various technologies such as 3D printing, medical robotics, and nanotechnology, and has specifically applied over $2 billion towards the Human Brain Project to not only map the brain, but to also create the platform for future developments such as neural implants and mind uploading devices. The EU Enhance Project has also, in conjunction with the Europe 2045 initiative, has began development of what is called the Augmented Learning Environment, which entails an educational platform that incorporates current online multiplayer RPGs with social role-playing games to facilitate a digital educational environment for students. Aldebaran Robotics in Paris, France says that according to the United Nations, robotics will be the technological revolution of the 21st century. Thus, this group is working with the current platforms of interactive technologies to provide the first commercialized autonomous humanoid robots. Valkyrie, uh, Valkyrie 1, 6'2", 125 kilograms, superhero robot. We want to get to Mars. Likely NASA will send robots uh, ahead of the astronauts to the planet. Uh, these, these robots will start preparing, uh, preparing the way for the human explorers. And when the humans arrive, the robots and the humans will work together in conjunction, uh, building uh, HABs, laying foundation, um, and, and just working together in that, in that tight relationship. So technologies such as Valkyrie are going to really lead into the, the type of robotic systems that will one day be the precursor missions uh, before the astronauts go to Mars. Foresight International is another global university-based network of professors, students, teachers, and citizens who are concerned with the future of mankind. Through the combination of the arts and sciences, they are developing a platform for academic research to help develop public policy at the local, national, and international levels in an attempt to strategically resolve current and future global issues. Foresight Institute, based out of Palo Alto, California, is a public think tank focused on transformative future technologies. Its goal, since 1986, has been to discover and promote the upside and help avoid the dangers of nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, biotech, and similar life-changing developments. They are advocates to increase the speed at which these technologies are developed, 
while making sure to provide a means to reduce the misuse and potential dangers of them. The Machine Intelligence Research Institute, founded in the year 2000, advocates ideas initially put forward by I.J. Good and Werner Vinge regarding the intelligence explosion, or more commonly known as the singularity. Head of engineering at Google, Ray Kurzweil, served as one of its directors from 2007 to 2010 and maintains an advisory board which includes Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom, biomedical gerontologist Aubrey de Grey, PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel, and Foresight Nanotech Institute co-founder Christine Peterson. While looking up all these groups, one of the major topics to hit the news stream was the fact that Google purchased Boston Dynamics, a military robotics maker. What was not reported were the other seven robotics companies that Google purchased along the way. With Ray Kurzweil taking the reins for Google's engineering department, it's quite alarming to see his predictions for the near future, which includes the capacity to reprogram our biology to be free from disease and aging, printing most of our products including clothes and even replacement organs via 3D printing, search engines becoming ever more responsive and intelligent, and the idea that humans will be fully immersed in visual, auditory, virtual environments for social interaction and gameplay. Furthermore, in December 2013, it was reported by the Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences that they had developed machine learning algorithms that could make chemical reactions intelligent. This brings us to another project started in 2000 by Hod Lipson of Cornell University and Jordan Pollack of Brandeis University called the Gollum Project. With the support of DARPA, the Gollum Project, whose acronym stood for Genetically Organized Lifelike Electromechanics, conducted experiments in an attempt to develop self-replicating and self-manufacturing robotic life forms. While artificial organisms had been developed digitally to evolve in response to the programmed conditions, the goal for the Gollum Project was to get these organisms from the digital realm to the physical. While such projects are available to the public mainstream, one can only speculate as to what may be going on behind closed doors in the laboratories of the deep underground. It should be clear by now that the modern technological and scientific agenda is built upon the same spiritual philosophies as ancient alchemy. The desire for man to create artificial life and as a result play God is nothing new. One of the goals for the alchemists was to create what is known as the Golem, an animated anthropomorphic being created purely out of inanimate matter through magical workings. The Hebrew word Golem is used once in the Bible and is found in Psalms 139.